Good morning and welcome back to Amethyst Adventures. Now, if you haven't done so, I would love for you to become part of the family by clicking on that subscribe button and baby hitting that notification bell so that you will know when I upload a brand new video. Now, in today's video, I'll be working on velvet pumpkins. Oh, how decadent. Doesn't that just sound decadent? Velvet pumpkins for the coming fall season. This DIY is part of the collaboration Fall Vibes and is brought to you by the Home Decor Lux Club, of which I'm the newest member. with me while we get into it. Okay, honey. for today's DIY, I'm going to be working on velvet pumpkins for fall. So what I have here is just an old bear. I'm that just going to use these as a template to make different size pumpkins. So I have varying sizes of um, different plates that I'm going to trace out so that my pumpkins will have different sizes. This one I got from uh, the thrift store for 99 cents. So I'm gonna stuff him as well. And then I also purchased from the Dollar Tree. This is a weaving set, but I chose this because it has a very um, large, large eye in the needle. And as well, the thread is very strong. So this is what I'm gonna use to enforce the top of our pumpkins and I just have a scissor and a marker so I'm gonna get started this is a curtain panel um, that I had from my old house I don't use it anymore so I'm going to use this to fashion our pumpkins Now that I have our templates for our pumpkins, I'm gonna go ahead and cut each one of those out. All of my circles cut out of my burnout velvet. I'm gonna use this weaving thread to make one complete stitch all the way around. Do not cut your thread. And we're gonna use that to as a pull string to gather our pumpkins together. And I'll show you what I mean so you can better understand. So I've pulled out a length of thread and knotted it on the About end. About a half an inch uh, under our seam. And I'm just gonna, and I hope that you can make this out okay. And I'm just gonna go in and out. That's it, very easy stitch to do. Anybody can do that. And we're gonna pull it all the way. But we don't wanna pull our end all the way. We wanna leave some at the edge so we can use that as a drawstring. And in and out, very simply. And we're gonna go all the way around this Now circle. that I've gone all the way around, with my stitch, and you see this is the long end I left at the beginning, and I have yet to detach my needle. We can use this as a drawstring, like I explained, to pull our pumpkin closed. And then we're going to take it, and this is where our um, bear comes in. We're gonna use our bear to stuff our pumpkin. And here's our stuffing and we're gonna just fill our pumpkin all the way up on the inside until we have a nice round pumpkin. That's why I use this weaving thread because it's a very strong thread. You could also probably use some nylon thread. Stick with me, next step. So I went outside and I found a bit a nice sized branch and I cut it into pieces to use as our stems. So this is nice and hot. I'm gonna take a nice amount of hot glue 
and put it inside of our pumpkin and I'm also going to put a little bit around the edges of our pumpkin and go ahead and sit that in and hold it till that glue sets up. This is wired jute cord that I got from the Dollar Tree and we're going to use that to create a little curly cue for our stem. And I'm going to glue it to the wood stem itself. As embellishment, I have some berry picks here. And I'm going to add that berry pick in there just as a little bit more embellishment. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to continue to work on the rest and I will show you what it looks like when I'm done, which I think looks nice. And kind of like just have some beaded necklaces in silver and in gold. I hope you can make that out okay. A velvet pumpkin with the silver stone. And then I'll do one with the gold stem. And I like that too. And here we have our next one. And I'll clean up all those glue webs when I'm completely done. Here's the next one. I think that's cute, just like that. And then I'll come back and show you the complete collection on display. No, I 